know, I've been examining these horses at this point enough that I think I could qualify as some sort of veterinarian. Well, on the bright side, I'd be surrounded by vulnerable victims. That is, patience. You come, I heal, and do a little loveletting on the side. You know, play in words, bloodletting. Get it? Ah, forget it. On today's topic, we got Applejack. It's kinda interesting to observe fandom's general take on AJ compared to some statistics. But let's start with examining the rest of the main six. First, Pinkie Pie, the hyperactive brain dead comic shorthand for writers. Rarity, the latest drama queen with one shtick and the unique power of breaking her own element. Rainbow Dash, the dipshit jock of the group, that I personally still consider to be the main hero of the story. Twilight Sparkle, the nerd! End of Psycho, and... Fluttershy, says nothing, does nothing, and exists on the frame just to be cute. But what about Applejack? Well, obviously I satirized others, but when I look into what Applejack has to offer as a character, well, I used to not see much in her. Then, when thinking about this topic, I thought, okay, well, let's be fair and make a list of qualities and other little things that are of importance. Starting with the things we learned in first season up until now. She's very dependable, loyal, some would even say. She's a bit stubborn and a little bit too practical. She's very hardworking, she's got loving family that might be somewhat incestuous, but we'll skip over that. She's running family-owned business, which makes her also quite successful. And most of all, I guess you can say that she's the most grounded one in the group. Maybe even the group's core. Really, Applejack arguably is more successful than Rarity, has more loving family than Twilight that has Princess of Love for a sister-in-law, or Dash that has cultish parents and overall better personality than Fluttershy. When you look at all the little check marks, Applejack is the best pony and as a person, really. It's hard to imagine a better person. When you think about it, Applejack is the most realistic of the group. She has a decent family, job, and she's an outstanding citizen. And yet, Applejack is, if not hated, then ignored a lot by fans of the show. Isn't that kind of ironic? To me, this fact is rather funny. See, in the world where magic engulfs your everyday life, an average joke character that is used to be a substitute for audience is actually coming off as really bland, boring and sometimes even annoying. Even though Dash is a flying dipshit with turbo fart power, either you like her a lot because of her outstanding features or just dislike her for some other qualities. Still, you have an emotion towards her and the same goes with the other four, but Applejack? Because she's an average Joe and doesn't have too many super outstanding features, a lot of people just write her off as a background character. Isn't it interesting that to be remembered you have to stand out and the best way to do it is by being a dick. Yes kids, in our memories we remember people best for their bad qualities better than the good ones. And since it's easy to be a dick, you know it's a surefire way to get noticed. But seriously though, Applejack is a great example how our memories work and how we remember them. When it comes to remembering a person or a character, it doesn't matter. The bottom line after looking into Applejack and her character is simple. By all accounts, the best character can be easily overshadowed by a rainbow jet diarrhea spewing half-wit. Isn't storytelling amazing, everyone? 